Peer response is helpful in a number of different ways. Uh, one of the most important ways is that it is much easier to see your mistakes when you see someone else making them. If you can see the mistakes that someone else has made, then you, it gives you an eye for evaluating your own work. Peer review is an integral part of um, the writing process. I think peer review in terms of um, a student understanding the value of writing and the process of writing and the process of revision, I think is an important part. Peer review kind of uh, adds to what the teachers has to say because especially if the peer review is uh, before, you know, because you would already have kind of a, someone review your paper, which is always, you know, everybody recommends that have your paper read by someone else, and usually we, as students, don't always do it. So I think that's an opportunity to already have someone read it previous to the teacher. So that process begins with research and having the right elements in research and they using the research to create a structure that they can that they can use for their first draft and then after they've written the first draft the revision is based on comments first of all from teaching assistants and then as the semester goes on more and more on peer review because each the students have learned enough that they can actually help each other and they can learn from seeing the mistakes that other students have made. What we do with peer review is we have a rubric and so they bring two copies of a draft and we now have triads and the first time they do peer review they, it's self-composed um, groups and then the next time I compose the groups because then I, I kind of know leveled writing and, and also just to mix it up and so they get two peer reviews per draft and they fill out a rubric and they go through it and then they come together again after they've done that independently and they talk them through their peer reviews. They get points for peer review so if they do a really like cursory kind of thing and check a couple of things and stuff they won't get full credit. As peers you know we, we might have get different perspectives of what the teacher was asking for so sharing that really you know made it a a positive situation where we both not only you know I was being held but probably the, the the one that was really reviewing my paper also got ideas and made it you know in a way to improve you know their paper too. The first one I know is hard but then when you kind of explain to students you're doing this to improve upon your paper it's not personal you know you're not writing anything that's personal or mean or whatever it's just instructional and constructive. Even if you're not a strong writer, you can also identify you, you still didn't get the point or whatever. And again, you're moving towards self-evaluation so that ultimately when you're in the workplace or in a, you're going to do your own evaluation. So it's getting you sensitive to the issues that are the strengths and weaknesses of your own paper, or other people's paper. If they're going to go into academia, and even, even if they're going to work in an NGO or in the government, somebody's going to be looking at their writing and making suggestions as to how they improve it. And they need to learn to take that kind of criticism and also to give that kind of criticism.